Facebook advertising tips and strategies in 2019. Guys, Kim Barra here from Your Social Voice. And today I wanna to share with you a few of the new tips and strategies that are coming out that are going to help you get better results when it comes to your Facebook advertising. Now, one of the big things that we've been noticing in 2019 is that there is a shift in the way that people are acting. And that's really because a lot of the changes that have come out of Facebook and their F8 developer conference. So now what they're doing is they're actually making sure that people are starting to think of their newsfeed completely different to Messenger, completely different to anything else that's on their suite of apps. So what that means is the newsfeed is now what they call uh, their digital town square. This is where people are coming as part of their town square. They're interacting they're with their friends, their family, and you've got to adjust how you market on there. So if you think about that, you need to make sure that your advertising slots in exactly as it should in a digital town square so that you can ensure that you know, you're not overwhelming people, you're not putting something in there that makes absolutely no sense, and it's actually nice, it's convenient, it's fun for people to be able to interact with. And then you have Messenger, which they're considering as their digital living room. Again, which means that's private. Right? That's where we hang out with our friends, that's where we hang out with our family, and that's where we ensure that we're getting the best results um, possible when it comes from our marketing, because Messenger really does work. But it means that you've got to be a little bit nicer, you've got to be a little bit cleaner, you've got to little, be a little bit more patient in there, because you can't bombard people in their living room. Right? Now, that's why you need to start thinking of different strategies in 2019 to ensure that you get the best results possible with your ads. Now, what are some of the ways that you can do that? Well, like I already mentioned, messenger ads are working ridiculously well. Now, there are a whole bunch of changes that are coming. They're removing certain things like sub menus. They're removing aspects from when it comes to broadcasting your messages out to the marketplace. So what you're gonna have to think about is go, well, how can I make it easy for people to interact with me inside of Messenger? So yes, by all means, please do Messenger ads. Please focus on bringing people into Messenger and using bots, but know that things are changing. You're gonna have a completely different focus from around about August 15th onwards, which means that you're gonna to have to pay for subscriptions if you're sending out subscriptions, or you're gonna to have to apply and you're gonna to have to send in a form to apply for subscriptions. So it's a little bit painstaking, but it's the same as if you were sending an SMS, same as if you're sending email, you pay for access to be able to send them out. So you're gonna be able to do that as well inside of Messenger. So as I said, that's going to come from around about the end of, uh, probably the 1st of July to the 15th of August is roughly the dates where all those changes are coming through. So it's gonna be painstaking, it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be something that you're gonna to have to deal with if you wanna run Messenger. Now the next big change in 2019 that's coming is what a lot of uh, a lot of people what is called CBO, conversion bid optimization. Right now, what does that mean? It means that normally you have three sections of any sort of ad campaign, any sort of ad account that you're working with. You have your campaign, you have your ad set, and you have your ads. Now normally, what you can do is you can manage your spend in the middle section inside of your ad sets which means if I'm targeting males 20 to 30 and then females 20 to 30, I can spend $10 on each of those. I can separate those out. Now what's going to happen from, again, about the start of September is that every single campaign you set up is gonna be managed from the campaign level. So Facebook are gonna try and optimize for you where it spends your money. Now they've been doing that for ages with ads. At the ad level, if you put five ads in and you have $10 in your ad set, Facebook will go and they'll try and figure out how to best spend that money for you. They'll go and try and figure out how you can get the best outcome from that $10 in spend. However, they make decisions very, very quickly. They'll make a decision after a thousand impressions. So after a thousand people have scrolled past it very quickly, they'll make a decision on which one of those works. And for me, I don't think that that is actually the best way to go about it because I don't think really that you can get enough detail that way so what i would recommend what we recommend normally is one ad per ad set so that you can test things properly and then if you're going to do a couple bucks a day that's fine test it like that so they're going to take that same mechanism but then to conversion bid optimization now i've been testing that on a couple of different accounts with probably we spent now maybe five to ten thousand dollars testing conversion bid optimization and for me I haven't found it to actually work that well. One account, 
it's worked well in. The rest have not. Because again, they're making decisions very, very early. And yes, Facebook have a lot of data. Yes, they have a lot of insights. They have a lot of understanding. But I don't think, from what I can see at the moment, they have enough of it. But we're gonna have to make that change. So in come from September, you have two options. One is that you keep everything as per normal and you allow Facebook to figure everything else out for you. I'm not a huge fan of that. Or number two is that for everything that you wanna test, you have to create a different campaign. So you can imagine if you wanna test five images and five audiences, that means that you might have to have anywhere from five to 25 different campaigns if you want to manually test that out. So that is something that is coming that is really, really big and it's gonna impact a lot of people. Now, one last thing that I'll share, which is a new strategy, a tip for 2019, is that a lot of people um, are running video ads. Like we highly recommend it. We do a mogul method uh, for a video retargeting strategy, which works really, really well. Now, one of the key problems there is though, is how do you bid for video views? Because they've introduced a new bidding strategy, which is called through play which is to get people to most likely watch at least 15 seconds, if not 15 seconds or more of your video. So now when it comes to video bidding, you have three different options, three seconds, 10 seconds and through play. So again, it's a new strategy to test and go, hmm, if I can get people watching past 15 seconds, that's better than three or 10 seconds. So it's another strategy and tip that you should be testing out inside of your ads, inside of your Facebook ad strategies for 2019 is to utilize and test those three different options. We're finding that through play is working a lot better than a lot of different key areas. Now guys, if you're going, oh, that sounds overwhelming, it sounds stressful, just reach out to someone that can help you because there are a lot of different changes happening in 2019, they're gonna keep happening and you need to stay on top of it. Number One of the main ways to do that is subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can find every single new piece of content that we share with you around Facebook ads, about growing your business, you can take and apply. Right, so that's step one. Number two is make sure that you have a strategy yourself so that you can test these different things throughout the whole process. So guys, I just wanna share that quickly with you today about some of the different Facebook ad strategies, tips for 2019 so that you can go out there and you can make a difference in your business and in your Facebook ads. So as always, please, please, please give me a thumbs up if you like this or give me a thumbs down if you didn't, that's cool as well. Make sure that you comment and you let us know everything that's going on for you and let us know if we can create other content for you. If there's anything you heard today that you liked, let me know and make sure that you subscribe so that you see this video before anyone else. As always, I'm Kim Barra. You guys have been awesome. Adios.